my first guest has the most recognized face in the universe. And I'm really pleased about this. This is true. We all know about the Olympic boxing champion who went on to become the world's greatest professional boxing champ. We all know about his conversion to the Muslim faith and his courageous stand that he made against uh, the draft in the Vietnam War. I think he's the greatest. And he's a man who, with tremendous character and who has never compromised his principles. Well, uh, he's smart and he's controversial and he's dynamic and he's very pretty. And he is the greatest. My very, very good friend, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> You recited that just like I told you. <laughs> you love me, I love you. You know, it's obvious you're young, you're a multimillionaire, you're blessed to have a beautiful family and children. Now, um... Same for you, everything is same. <laughs> yes. Now that you've retired, what's, what are you going to do? What's and happening? Dan, I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. Uh, for anybody watching this show, uh, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Do you think anybody can uh, persuade you to, is there anything to stop you from being in retirement right now? Anything that can make you go back in the ring? Yes, if I could discover the fountain and you can go back about five years, I would have a little more left. But at 37 years old, you know how it is. No, I don't. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no, you're 37? Yes, I've been watching you since I was a baby. Yeah. What about, what about movies? And, yeah. well, I like movies as long as I can uh, take something that I like, <clears throat> something nice. I don't like, some movies I don't like. Yes. You have to watch yourself and can make sure that I don't do nothing that will disgrace myself or my religion or my friends or my children. Yes, absolutely. So you know, they give you a lot of roles where some profanity is used or maybe there's a scene where you take off clothes or pretend you're in the bed. Or, yes. uh, you have to watch all that. They're real yes. tricky. Look, I'm well aware of that. Satan That's mentality. something I'm glad that you do. The Satan, devil mentality is in a lot of people. Everybody don't mean good like you are. <laughs> uh, so they look to make you look bad. Yes. You can lose a fight in boxing or you can lose a debate or you can lose in life, period. And could always go out a loser. So I'm still battling. No, you're going out a winner, baby. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm not sad because I'd love to watch you box. It's a beautiful art. Your craft is magnificent. Well, I think you'd be more sad if you saw me on flat on the back. <laughs> no, it's true. I don't want to see you hurt for nothing in this world. Nothing. What about, um, what about politics at all? I mean, I'd vote for you if, if you ran for something like that. Politics? Yeah, any thoughts? I had an organization that I've just formed. It is now Texas M called World. Yes. W-R-L-D. World Organization for Rights, Liberty, and Dignity. And I'm a little reluctant on pursuing it because it's going to take a lot of work and I have a lot of plans. <clears throat> I talked to Brezhnev when I was in Russia, and he gave me a spot inside the criminal if I wanted. And, and somebody I've been uh, I'm not a Russian. I'm just trying to make things better. But uh, we like to set up offices in about 60 countries. And the sole purpose of the organization is to better relationships between people on the social civilian level. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the common Russian don't hate Americans, and if the common American don't hate Russians. It's just the politics of the leaders that cause the titles 
with and labels which cause prejudice and hate, like Catholics, unlike Protestants, Muslims ain't with the Jews, the Catholics not with the Protestants or the Buddhists, not with the Hindu or the Republican, not with the Democrat. And God never named them Catholic, He never named them Baptist, a holy roller, Jehovah's Witness, a Muslim, or Judaism. A man gave the title. And that's what's separating the bad people. Yes. And what we want to get something started with no title is involved. All people, all races, all religions fighting for one cause, the human cause. Yes. And this is what I think I want to do because nothing can surpass what I've already done. Yes, I mean, you are. Yes, I mean, yes. Yes. Uh, I've been so popular and I've done so much in boxing. I followed, just went fishing or made a movie or, or whatever. I wouldn't be sad, so I got to do something. I thought big. maybe you want to travel with me on the road or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we'll do a movie together. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we'll talk about Are you going to get show. a divorce? <laughs> Yes, I, I'd like that. I'd like you to get into movies, too. I saw some of your well, work. Well, I like them. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm a good actor. But I, <laughs> I like real acting. You know? Yeah, me I too. I don't like the way they write my script. I like to say what I want to say, do what I want to do, and uh, be my own director. Honestly, we started, we started in this business uh, about the same time. And it makes me, I, I was reading yeah, back I over. you're about my age. No, I'm younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> Now, is there anything, now you have an incredibly strong image, and one I think all of our young people are proud of. Is there anything that frightens you at all? Anything yes, you're afraid yes. of? Yes, Tell me. A bed, when I'm on an airplane. <laughs> Paul, this is a lady, gentlemen. This is your captain. Could you please fetch the seatbelts? <laughs> it looks like there's a thunderstorm here. We're going to try to go around it. But it might get a little choppy, so... If we have to, we'd rather go around it if it's 2,000 miles out of range. But we might have to go, then you see the lightning gets real dark, and that's a scary feeling. You see the wings flying and flapping. <laughs> they taking They are laughing because they don't talk about Yes, I know. We all do. Oh, man. Absolutely. Oh, boy, you think, well, I don't worry about dying. I worry about knowing I'm on the way to die. <laughs> I think everybody know we're going to be born to die. If somebody just shot you instantly and died in your sleep, all right. But knowing that the plane is shaking and, and the food flying and think about, mm -hmm. and think about the tail end splitting off and all No, 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 air, let's not think about all, that. Go on. All the air comes in the plane. Oh, no. That's only then, in the movies. Then you see yourself flying through the air and you're not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary <laughs> one thing I know that's I really absolutely mean. fabulous that I think I feel that you're going to live forever well, you that know, sounds so, nice yes it's true so don't be afraid forever? Oh, I think yeah. we will live forever if we live right on earth so that's I think right. there's a heaven and hell and life's only 6 to 70 years and this is we're passing through a station and the real home is heaven or hell that's the eternity so this six to seven years is a test to see if we can make it so god is watching you he's talking to you the devil's talking to you and the one that wins you you go to his home mm -hmm. <laughs> you have really strong beliefs so, I, I that's feel... why i try to you know, you can do as much as I can. You're going to do good. a lot of work in that now that you no, think you'll be retired? No, nothing to brag about. Well, when you do something from your heart, you don't tell them about it, so you'll never know what I do. Yeah. What about your family? What about your family and friends? That's all right. After a commercial. <laughs> we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with a word from our sponsor. Thank you. at your watch. Oh. No, I was just straightening it up. Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe you were no. checking something out, huh? <laughs> hey, tell us. I would be as bored. Oh, good. Well, that, did I say that? I said, you know, one thing, you are not dull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tell us about uh, the retirement party that's coming up at the Los Angeles Forum. Well, I'm already retired, but they want to have a look after something. This will be September the 6th yes. at the uh, Forum. Yes. And Dr. Jerry Buss is the new owner of the farm. 
and he's uh, arranging everything. He's a promoting it, yeah. It's it's called the greatest night ever, or the greatest night of all. I don't know what to call it. It's called the greatest something. The greatest. <laughs> Are you going to live in L.A. now? Mm, well, probably doing one of the months. Uh, keep keep my house in Chicago. I think I keep residence in Chicago. I came what converted me to get out of there. During one of the months, I came out one morning last winter and actually couldn't find my car. The car was all covered in snow. I said, I don't have to go through it, Jess. I can afford to get out of here. <laughs> I know Chicago is the stay. coldest place, the coldest. Yeah. I've worked there at, uh, uh, this. Uh, what is that place in Chicago? McCormick. What's that big, big place? McCormick. No, not the Mill Run. McCormick. McCormick, yeah, that big place. Sound is yeah. great there. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm sad about the retirement, and I know that it's something that you want to do very much, well, so. In my field, 33 has been the retiring age for heavyweight champions since 18-something. Yes. What's the retiring age in your field? 100 or something 100? like that. Yeah. I know singers can go a long time. Well, you see, I, I'm still hungry. I, I'm not ready to retire. I feel like I haven't done my work yet. See, you've done a lot of work. You've done yeah, wonderful work. How much work. are you waiting? You look a little hungry. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> now, I, I, uh, I weigh a little more than I did when you, we first met in Miami down there. Mm -hmm. I weigh a little more than that. But, uh, I don't know. I think... Um, uh, what's, your, what's your next question? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I think that uh, um, you know, for me, I don't, re I won't retire. I think until uh, the public tells me to, until people feel that I've had enough. <laughs> I'll keep trying to do something different. Tonight is really something unique. I can tell when you've had me. enough in your field. In my field, you get hit too much. Or, uh, 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 I think uh, you're too slow. Or you what's your house the sign? Some, uh, somehow, you know, the public Stumble. not buying your records. You'll know. You'll know very clearly when it's time to stop. I, I think. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I got a lot of work Still to do. Still records? Yeah, I do. I hope. <laughs> Did you? Do you have? Any, you know, I read an article that, that you really, wrote. Is in, that really you? Oh, oh you're mean as well. <laughs> Just having fun. Doesn't that look like me? Yeah. Oh. I'm divorced. You are. <laughs> Don't you think that album says a lot of things about where my life has gone to right now? <laughs> I have three daughters. I'm, I would like to have some sons. You know. <laughs> don't look at you. <laughs> don't tell me about this. That's your business. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I didn't think you were interested in that. <laughs> Cosell, where is he and do you Uncle miss him? Will you miss him? <laughs> Sometime I wish I was a dog, he was a fireplug. Come on, your relationship couldn't be that bad. I think he cares a lot about you. Don't you care about him at all? Well, as long as I'm winning, he's well. <laughs> but he can really get on you and you. I mean, when you're down and out. I saw a fellow not long ago, got knocked out, and he walked up to him. He said, Bobo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Talking. <laughs> I'm glad he's not in, in our profession. I, I, I think it would be hard to be. Muhammad, he says, you're not the same man you were 15 years ago. <laughs> I just fought a 10 round fight, naturally I'm tired. <laughs> you're not the same man you were 15 years ago. That shows you the limit of his intelligence. Who are the same that were 15? <laughs> I'm ask his wife, is he the same he was two years ago? <laughs> no, no, no. One day. One fight I fought, he said, Muhammad, you have a little extra unnatural stuff around the middle. I said, you have a little unnatural stuff on top of here. 